Laurel County woman was sent to the hospital tonight after her ex-boyfriend allegedly ran her over with his car. Alexa Helwig was in Corbin and talked to her son-in-law who witnessed the incident play out. I seen my mother-in-law uh, get uh, run over by a vehicle uh, driven by her uh, ex-boyfriend. After witnessing the entire incident, Bradley Proc, the woman's son-in-law, says he's angry. Just before 3.30 today, he tells me Alan Rose came to this house in Corbin and an argument developed over money and bills. I guess he didn't want to live here anymore, so he uh, tried to come back and get his stuff. After grabbing what he needed and ending the argument, Bradley says Rose got into his car and took off, running over the woman's leg. He was done talking at that point. Um, he... I guess he didn't want to hear it from her. Bradley tells me that after his mother-in-law was run over, Rose didn't stop the car. That's when he tells me he started to chase him down this road. But Rose got away, leaving his apparent ex-girlfriend on the ground with an injured leg. Bradley says regardless of intentions, he doesn't believe Rose cared that he had run her over. It is scary that uh, people will allow that, you know, to let it get to that point instead of, you know, talking about it. Rose is facing several charges, including assault. Covering the news in Laurel County, Alexa Helwig, LEX 18 News.